Okay guys, today we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the elephant in the room. What happened to my face? Make sure you continue watching because we will get into it. But I thought I'd give you a close up so you can see what's really going on. So when I start talking about it, you can already see, oh yeah, she hurt herself pretty good. <laughs> This is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos that I upload. Also for my faithful family members, you all know I love you so, so, so very much. And guys, I am here today with a little bit of a chit chat story time. And then I'll move into a Christmas decor and some home decor haul that I got um, over this past few days. So anyway, guys, um, as you can see, I'm sure you guys have noticed, I my face is injured. So, and over the last few weeks, I've been posting videos where I was not on camera. And so generally what I like to do is I try to film videos uh, in advance so that I can have footage going out to you guys because you know I'm a I work I'm a full-time wife and mom and then I work full-time and so it's trying to and then you know with everything with the church so and then I try to squeeze in YouTube in the midst of everything that I have going on and so with that being said um, I try to get footage filmed usually on Saturdays and then I disseminate that throughout the week on the channel so I already had footage filmed and then usually what I'll do is on a Sunday afternoon I will film the intros to the videos if I don't do it on that Saturday and so I had quite a bit of footage already filmed but I hadn't done the intro part where you guys see me and then it splits off into me showing you what I'm doing and then I come back at the end so many of the videos that you saw this past week were just the footage. You didn't see me. And that is because, um, I guess it's been right about two weeks ago now, I was coming down the stairs early in the morning. You know, we got up to start our day. Uh, my husband was actually in the kitchen cooking breakfast. So I was like, what? Awesome. So he was cooking breakfast. Addison was already downstairs. And I was coming downstairs and my pajamas caught my foot or my foot got caught in my pajamas so when I went to step I missed the last three stairs and fell forward kind of at an angle and hit the right side of my face onto a chair at the bottom of the staircase now guys I know that sounds traumatic right it was it was it was traumatic but the blessing in that is that if I hadn't put that chair there and I just put that chair in that spot the night before as I was moving things around thinking about how I'm gonna start putting my Christmas trees up and so I put the chair there which normally is nothing there if that chair was not there to help break my fall I would have hit my face on our tile floors I had my cell phone in my hand and I was coming down the stairs holding this side when I let go I had my cell phone in my right hand when I let go and I fell I didn't have any way to brace myself. So I turned my head like that and, you know, kind of went like this and fell forward. So my face and the side of my head hit the chair. And so I'll insert some pictures for you guys to see, which honestly, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to share with you guys those pictures because they, um, they look, they look really bad and, and you know, but I was like, you know, there is a blessing in everything that happens. And so we have to see the blessing in it. And so for me, the blessing is that if if that chair had not been there, if I had not put the chair there, then I probably wouldn't be sitting here two weeks later telling you guys about it because I'm sure the bones in my face would have been fractured. Maybe my skull could have been fractured. Who knows, I could have lost my life. I don't know. So anyway, so I'm back now. I'm still not wearing makeup because I'm moving a bit here. You guys can see a lot of the, the bruising has gone, but it's still very puffy. I don't know if you guys can see it from this angle, but there's a like a hematoma there. 
um, and that's still very tender. And the open abrasions are all closed and healed now, but they're still red. So I don't want to put makeup on and maybe potentially cause an infection in my face. Like that would so not be good, right? <laughs> like ain't nobody trying to do that, right? <laughs> so with that being said, you guys get to see me plain face and bruised face. Also, you can see I have a bit of red in my eye still. My eye was swollen completely shut, and then when it did open, it was all filled with blood, right? So, it's taken, a, a, like I said, a couple weeks now, but it's almost completely out. So, it's looking much, much, much better. And, of course, Addison every day was checking on me. He, when he heard me fall, my husband came running from the kitchen, Addison came running, and he was like, oh my goodness, mama, are you okay? And so uh, he started crying. I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay, which I totally was not okay, but you know, I didn't want to upset him. Um, so anyway, each morning he'd check on me and was like, let me see your eye. Oh, okay, it's okay, you'll be okay. So he was checking on me every day and encouraging me that I would be fine. So I, was, I thought that was so sweet and adorable. Um, and I'm so blessed to have such a loving child that's really um, caring and attentive and wanted to make sure that his mom was doing fine. So, um, and then I had a conversation with my older son and he was like, I think you should tell your viewers about it because they might be wondering why they haven't seen you on the camera for a while. And so I was like, yeah, that's true. So that's, I have um, both my boys to thank for encouraging me to come on here and kind of tell you guys about what happened and why you hadn't seen me for a while and honestly to share my testimony in all of it because you know what's meant for evil God always turns it around for good so I hope that uh, you know this has been an opportunity to encourage someone to keep going even though sometimes you fall down in life you gotta just keep get back up and keep going so yes all right you guys so at any rate um, yes that's what it is but you know what we're plugging along and we're gonna keep doing um, what we are here to do so with that being said I do have um, some tea here that I'll be sipping on from time to time you guys see my hello fall cup from the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago I love this cup and I thought it was really cute with it just so happens that my shirt coordinates with my decor in the background but you know that's just added bonus right and so the cup added bonus also <laughs> so Guys, today I want to share with you all some decor items that I did get just the other day or so. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I went to Ross, of course, you guys know I love Ross. So, my plan was to already have my you know, I was behind on getting my home tour out, I was behind on getting my Christmas trees up, like behind on so many things that I wasn't anticipating getting hurt and being like out of commission. So, um, now I'm playing catch up. I did get my home tour up. I don't have any trees up just yet, but my husband's going to be helping me with that really soon. Um, and so just the other day, I hadn't been able to get out to Ross and get out to go get any Christmas ornaments. Like, not that I really need any, but I am going to be doing a new color scheme upstairs in the family room. So, um, so I'll share that a little bit later. But I did go out to Ross. Uh, yesterday with um, my sister and then I took her by craft text so if you guys saw I think it was the last video I just uploaded where I did a walkthrough of craft text well I did do a shopping haul which was I think the video before that one where I shared with you guys all of the items that I purchased from big lots and craft text and now and in that last video I showed you guys the walkthrough of craft text and how amazing that story is right and all of the decor so yesterday, my sister came and picked me up, and then we went out shopping, went by Ross. We went by Craft Text because she wanted to go there. So I did grab a couple of new items from there that I'll share with you guys for Christmas. And then we went to Ross, and I cleaned up again at Ross. Ross is like coming through with all of the home decor right now. Um, so I'll share with you guys the items I got from Ross too. And, um, and I do have some items so after I went to Craft Text with my YouTube sister Felisa here at Homebody with Felisa, um, after I left her from Craft Text, I was driving by and came across this place called S Home Decor. And guys, 
I'm gonna share with you a walkthrough of that video next. I don't know if it'll come before or after this video, probably afterwards. That store is amazing, amazing. Oh my God, it's so amazing. That store has absolutely beautiful decor. And so I do have a couple items that I did get from S Decor, but be sure to make sure that your notification bells and everything are clicked because you don't wanna miss out on seeing that walkthrough because it is impressive. I was so impressed. And so um, I'll be sharing that with you guys in a little bit. And then hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have at least one or two of my Christmas trees up. Um, and then we can really start getting to decorate for Christmas. So, and guys, I can see here, we're already about 13 minutes in on this video and I haven't even touched the item. So it may be that I share with you all the Christmas items first and then in a separate video, I'll share with you the regular home decor items from Ross. We'll see. I really don't wanna rush through things um, and I, I don't want to make it like an hour long video either. So with that being said, let's go ahead and first I'll share with you the items that I did get from Craft Tex. So in my previous video, I showed you guys that I got these beautiful picks and they are absolutely gorgeous. I went, while well, since I was there at Craft Tex, I went ahead and got another pack because I think in that other video I mentioned that um, I wish that I had gotten more than one pack because these are going to be gorgeous in a Christmas tree as fillers. And so I did go ahead and pick up another one. Again, um, this bundle of 12 was $24, I believe. So that's like $2 per pick. That's very, very reasonable price. And I'll be honest with you, I went to another store and they had this exact same pick. They were charging for one pick, $5 for one pick. And I got a pack of 24, I mean a pack of 12 for $24. So I thought that was awesome. You guys can see how beautiful they are. I don't want to take them out of the packaging because I don't want to get glitter all over everything right now. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So I have those. And also, in the other video, I showed you guys some ornaments that I got from Craft Tex. I did get these as well. Now, the last time when I was there, I don't think, I didn't see these. I didn't, and I was looking to see if they had another color because I got the deep maroon, like burgundy color. And so this is a gold color. And look, it matches my shirt perfectly. And the throw blanket back there. So this is going to be absolutely gorgeous on the tree for here in the living room. And I'm gonna open it so you guys can just get a really good feel of how this looks. This is the ornament. You guys can see the size of it. Like here's my hand and I'll turn the ornament like this. You can see the size of the ornament. So this is a really good size ornament. This is not a little teeny tiny something. This is really a great size ornament. And you can see the green and red threading along the base of the ornament. You guys know red, green, and gold are my colors. Those, I absolutely love the traditional colors for Christmas and red, green, and gold are my colors every year. And I said this year I was gonna switch it up and do something different. And I'm still doing it, I'm doing a different variation of the exact same colors. So instead of red, like red, red being my focal color this year is burgundy. That's still in the red family. And instead of like just a shiny gold like this or just a, a more muted gold, I'm doing a bright, shiny, shiny gold. So, yeah, I can't help myself. Even when I want to do different, I can't help myself. But these ornaments were only $2 each. So I thought that was a fantastic price for these large ornaments. And so I think for, if you just, if I wanted to guess how many inches this is, it's probably, yeah, it's probably 12 inches long. So absolutely gorgeous. And I have the burgundy color ones like this as well. And maybe I'll insert a picture on here so you guys can see that. Um, but you can also be sure to check out that video if you want to so see So I did get six of these. I should have probably gotten more, but I wanted to start with this first because actually six of these and six of the burgundy ones will probably be more than plenty to fill in a tree along with everything else that I'll put in there, right? So, um, so this is a great start. And then 
Also, I'm going to plan to go my craft text after Christmas and um, take advantage of the after Christmas sales. So I wasn't inclined this year to spend a whole lot of money on ornaments and other items that I'm planning to get after Christmas on a discount. You guys know how I like to do. I like to keep my coins as much as possible and stretch them as far as possible. So it's not too often I like to spend regular price for anything. But for $2 each and for $2 each of those other ones, I thought that was a win. That's a great price. And I know that they will be more expensive otherwise somewhere else. So that's those items from Craft Tech. And that's basically the only thing I got from there. Um, then I did go to S Decor, like I mentioned to you guys. And as it relates to Christmas items, I only grabbed one item there for, for Christmas. But I did get two other items that I'll share with you guys. But I did pick up this ribbon from S Decor. And it's gold and it has um, like a gold trim in it. But what I like most about this ribbon is that it's very thin. And um, I'm going to open it here. And it's, it, of course, it's wired. But I like that it's very thin. And when, you, when I show you guys the walkthrough of S Decor and you see how they have the trees decorated there, you'll then understand why I wanted to have this ribbon. But look at how thin it is. And it will just make the perfect bow. You can see how how flexible it is. It's very easy to manage and it's going to be so so cute. So cute. Now guys this ribbon was not cheap and um, they had that craft text also but it was actually more expensive there and so I didn't and the craft text didn't have in gold like this. They had it in they did have it in black and I wanted to get black although black is not my accent color this year but I thought it would be really pretty to have black because it's gold on one side and black on the other side. Who knows, I might still go back for it, but I think at Craft Text that ribbon was $40 and this one at S Decor was $30, $28.99. That's a lot of money, guys, for ribbon, in my opinion. But it's 25 yards, and so that's a plus because most of the time you only get about 10 yards for a designer ribbon. And this is the D. Stevens Fine Ribbons. So this is a great product, this, and, and it makes a difference, really. Dollar Tree Ribbon and D. Stevens Ribbon, there's no comparison. And you guys know, I'm the first person that's like, I can make something beautiful from Dollar Tree, and I certainly can. But then there's also times when I want to really up the ante, right, and make something amazing. And sometimes you need to spend a few more dollars on that. So that was my splurge item for the whole weekend. That ribbon for $28. Also from S Decor, I did get, maybe I should just show you guys, I'm trying to think should I just show you all the Christmas items, then I'll come back to this, because this is not a Christmas item, but I could to totally use it in my Christmas decor. I'll just show you guys, because I was just thinking this is going to look really nice upstairs with the color scheme that I'm going to do up there. So at S Decor, I did also get, they were having a 20% off sale um, in this store. And this store, it's like, um, it's, it's not really a designer warehouse, it's a designer showroom. And they use many of the items from the designer warehouse in there also, especially for their Christmas decor. But he has furnishings as well, and that's what's the amazing part, because everything is decorated beautifully. But I did get this beautiful, container and you can see it's two-tone so it's gray and like a metallic color it's gorgeous it's so pretty it's really a decent size it's not really huge but it is a very good size and um, I was thinking of getting these to put on the bookcases here for when I take down my seasonal decor and have them as a part of just like their regular everyday items and I may still do that but for during this holiday season I'm likely going to use these upstairs in the family room because I'm going with a, a teal and gold color up there, which is new for me. I've never had teal in any of my Christmas trees or my Christmas decor. So I'm excited to incorporate um, a new color into my decor. And so that's going to be in the family room. So these were, I did get two of them. They were $50 each. Um, and they were, everything was marked clearance, or well, not clearance, but they were doing a 
20% off promotion. And so I got the two of them for $80. So I thought that was a really great price. I mean, I've, I've paid more at other places. And um, these, these pieces are very nice. And it's uh, quite sturdy. This is not something that's going to... I'm going to sell it in a garage sale in a couple of years. No, this is something that I will keep long term. So I got two of them. I thought they were gorgeous. And so, and it's also working with my inspiration color for my family room upstairs. So I have those two. And then I have from Ross, I did pick up a few items from there. All right, number one is this guy or girl, that's a guy I guess. Isn't this amazing? Oh my goodness. Look at this reindeer guys. It's a food tray. So the reindeer is holding the food tray on its antlers. And look at the detail work in the reindeer. It's gorgeous. So, so pretty. The only thing is they only had one. Ugh. Ross, sometimes Ross is killing me with with that they'll just have one or two of an amazing item so anyway they only had one and so now I'm on the hunt I'm gonna have to try to find another one because I cannot have this one by itself serving dessert for or appetizers or hors d'oeuvres for the holiday season by itself I need at least another one right but I thought this was gorgeous it's so so pretty I think it's fantastic. You guys know I love reindeer. Um, the only thing I'm not sure is I don't really like how it's so opened under here, but that's how they made it. And so I'm thinking if it's sitting on my countertop, we won't even know it. And then I may put some greenery or put a bow or something on it. So I'm not even too concerned about that, but I just gotta find another one. I'm gonna have to find another one. So I thought this was so cute. It was $26.99, which was also a little bit of a splurge, you know, but one thing about Ross is you if you see it and you want it, you better grab it because it won't be there again. And that's exactly what I did with this. I was like, I'll have to take it home. And if I don't find another one, then I'll bring this one back. But I don't want to leave it and then try to, tr try to find two because then that won't happen. <laughs> so anyway, I grabbed this one. I thought she was awesome. Okay, guys. So next from Ross... As it relates to Christmas items, I picked up these little bells. I thought these were so cute. I love that they're copper color. And you guys know, I did get some last year from Ross, but I think they're silver or maybe they're gold. I know they're not copper. And these are only $5.99. So that's a great, great, great price. And there's four bells on here. And you can see, and this one in particular, they have like... A little leather strap on it and then with tie with the jute twine so I thought these were so cute these would be great to hang on your door but for me that would be a bit too noisy I don't want to hear something clanging every time my door opens and closes and we have glass on our front door so I just that might not be a good idea but I'm thinking these may be used in my master bedroom because you guys know I like to keep the colors kind of muted in there so like cream gold and this year I think I'm going to incorporate a bit of copper in my master bedroom for Christmas. So it's still going to be the creams, the golds, a bit of copper, kind of rose gold-ish adding in there with it. So I did get three of these little guys for $5.99 each. And so I think they're going to look so pretty tucked into a tree or maybe draped on... Uh, I, I don't know. It's just going to be cute. I'll see how I'm going to use it. Of course, I'll be sharing it with you guys how I use these and incorporate them into my decor. But I think they're so cute. Love it. Also, um, while I was at Ross, I did um, get this ribbon. I have this ribbon from last year. It's a sparkly burlap ribbon. Now, I mentioned upstairs I was going to do teal and gold. And I'm probably going to inc incorporate also a bit of burlap with that. So it'll be like teal gold and burlap. Um, and so I thought this was the perfect melding of the two where it's gold and burlap together. And this ribbon is only $7.99 at Ross. 
and you get 10 yards of it. So I thought that was a very fair and reasonable price. And because I already have some that I used last year, um, this one's just gonna be extra in case if I need to make bows or something, or maybe even include them on this, pair it with another ribbon. That would be cute on that also. So I did grab this. They only had this one at Ross, and I just grabbed it up because, you know, sometimes with ribbon, when I see it and I know it's a great price, I'll just go ahead and grab it because I know I'm gonna use it eventually, even if I don't use it right at that moment. So $7.99 for this was a really good buy. And that is it from for Christmas items from Ross. But I will share with you one other Christmas item and then I'll ship from another store, then I'll share with you the other items from Ross. Um, I did go into Home Goods also, and I have a little bit of footage I'm going to share with you guys because at Home Goods I picked up this item that I'm going to share, and then also I picked up this um, gold throw blanket in the background there. I did grab those two from Home Goods as well, so I'll share you share that with you in this clip here. So after I filmed the home tour, I went out to the store in Home Goods, and I found two of these beautiful throw blankets in this gold color which matched the other one that I already had on the sofa and so I grabbed them up because I thought it would be perfect to add gold on this half of the room for the chairs considering we have so much gold on the sofa so this wasn't a part of the home tour but I just wanted to show you guys that and these were going to be perfect also for Christmas because I have so much gold that I'm using in um, my decor this year for Christmas that I thought I would grab them up. I'll go ahead and put them on the chair for fall, but they will also um, be a part of my Christmas decor as well. And as you can see, it was $16.99, but they're super soft and they're like shiny. So you can see, yeah, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous throw blankets. So with that, I also did grab this beautiful pillow. It says Merry and Bright from Home Goods. It's a feathered feel pillow, so you know you can do the karate chop. And I just like that. I like pillows that are soft and squishy and just they just have a higher end look. And of course, this velvet pattern. I mean fabric, this velvet fabric is gorgeous. Can you guys see that? Look at the sheen on that. It's so, so pretty and it's super soft. Now this pillow was $16.99 at Home Goods. So, um, but I think it's also awesome guys that I'm able to use my same color from fall. I'm just gonna transition that straight into my Christmas decor. So this gold, this deep, rich gold color is going to, it was absolutely gorgeous for fall decor and it's going to also be just as gorgeous and my Christmas decor. So I can't wait to share with you guys how I use this and how I um, incorporate these colors, the burgundy and gold, into our living room space for this season. So now I'll move on and finish up with you guys with these items from Ross. There's just a few more items. So um, I did grab this little pedestal. Guys, look at this. You all know I love Tuscan decor, you know that. And every now and again, when I'm out in the store, I'll see something that's kind of Tuscan inspired. And whenever I do, I grab it right up because you don't always see it anymore. Um, so this is like a pillar topper, like a topper on a pillar that you will see. And I'm gonna use it as probably a cake stand or you can use it as a riser for whatever. If they had two, I would have gotten two, but they only had this one. And so I just picked it up. I thought it was so pretty. Again, with this holiday season, look at all the detailing on that. This holiday season, this will be perfect um, as a cake stand. But look, then my birthday is coming in, de in December. Can you imagine this as a cake stand for my birthday cake? Oh my goodness, it would be fantastic. So I grabbed this, it was only $13.99. So I picked it up. I thought it was so, so cute. It's not really heavy. Um, it's, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not really heavy. 
So I thought it was gorgeous. I thought it was so, so pretty. It would be nice on the bookcase. It would be nice uh, as anything, really. It would be nice to add a little statue, a little bust or whatever you have on top of it. It would be great as a plant stand. Like this is a versatile piece. You can use it for whatever, however you want in your home. So I grabbed it. Again, I'll probably be on the lookout to find at least another one so that I can have another one to use in my space. Also, I picked up this little sculptural piece. Not that I needed him at all, right? Not at all. But I thought it was so pretty. I thought it was so, so pretty. And they had another one that I thought was even prettier probably because the gold was a more, but this is kind of like a brass color, maybe like, um, yeah, kind of like a vintage or like tarnished brass. They had another one that was a different kind of bird where the feathers went up and it was in a circle and, and it was like a shiny gold, like a bright, bright gold. It was so pretty. The bird was so pretty. The bird body was bigger and the tail was plumed up. It was so pretty, but it was on a, it had a black ring around it and it was on a black stand. And I didn't like that because I'm not really using black. And so this one's on a marble stand, which is what I'm using in my space here. So along with, you know, how this is kind of perched on the stand here. So I thought this was really nice. So I grabbed it. It was $16.99. So not a horrible price, but not really super cheap. But the other one that I was thinking about getting, I think it was $29.99. So that probably played a factor into why I grabbed this one instead. But I thought this tail on it was really pretty. This is going to be a nice piece to incorporate in my Christmas decor. And then it can also transition outside of Christmas. So this is something that I can dress up and decorate for Christmas. And then once Christmas is over, remove the Christmas adornments and then it will be a beautiful um, just uh, sculptural piece by itself. So it it can be, a tra this is what I like to consider a transitional piece. It can be used um, throughout the year, which the, mo the more transitional pieces I get, the better. I prefer to have transitional pieces as opposed to pieces that are specifically and particularly for a certain season because when that season's over, then you're not using them anymore. Except for the reindeers. The reindeers are something that's only used at Christmas or winter time, but if it's a cute enough reindeer, I'm gonna grab it because I just, I just think they're gorgeous. I love reindeers. Okay, so then from Ross, I grabbed these two vessels and you guys already know these are like designer inspired higher end designer inspired oh this has a little piece oh yeah I just pull it right off I was thinking I had to cut it um I love how this has the jute twine wrapped around the handle of it and it's just like a milk jug it's, it's a jug this one was $12.99 the smaller one and then the larger one here was $19.99. This is a really nice size piece too. It's, it's not um, small. It's really nice. And I grabbed this because number one, this is something that can be used throughout the year as well. But you could also put some seasonal florals in it to, to um, play along with any season. I'm gonna use these in our family room space upstairs to start this year. And then um, going forward, I can imagine that these, these are pieces that will probably travel throughout my home, um, just moving from space to, to space because I, I love that they're kind of a creamy bone white color. It's, it's really kind of a creamy color. It's not white, white. Um, and you guys know I do like my white, white pieces, but this one is a really creamy white and I think it's really, really pretty. It's gonna be perfect for upstairs. So I have those two. Also at Ross, I did grab these candlesticks. Oh my goodness, guys. Check out these candlesticks. Oh my goodness, these are gorgeous. They were $19.99. I don't know if you guys can even see that. They were $19.99 each. But you can see how they kind of dip, dip in here. And then on this end is where you put your candles. So while I was in Ross, I did grab like a um, flower pot 
to sit on here to see if I could use this as a plant stand is what I was thinking if I'm not using it for its intended purpose as a candlestick then maybe I could perch a smaller plant on top of here and then have it as a plant stand in my home because you guys know I'm a plant mama so I like having plants in my home and they fit perfectly not necessarily this piece but they did have some pots that fit perfectly I didn't grab the pots because they didn't coordinate with the colors that I'm working with but they always have pots at Ross and I probably have some pots on my shelf now that I could use for that purpose but anyway I thought these were great I love the height of these these are at least 48 inches tall and again for $19.99 I just thought that was a great price they're calling it size extra large for the candlestick so I thought this was a great great price so I picked up the two of them. I am uh, going to be getting some new curtains to put in my living room. So guys, I got so many projects going on. I'm telling you, if you have not subscribed already, then I think you should go ahead and do so right now. <laughs> go ahead and click the subscribe button because you do not want to miss any of the content that I have coming up because I've got so much in store for you guys. So with that being said, I have some new curtains coming. And so I decided to pick up a new, oh, what did I do with, okay, I will have to grab the curtain rod. I'm not sure if I'm gonna even keep the curtain rod, if it's gonna work, but I did pick up what I saw because that's what they had. But while I was at Ross, I did get some curtain accessories. Normally I don't hang, I don't have accessories on my curtains, especially in the living room, I just let them hang straight. But this time, since I'm getting some curtains and I thought they were gonna be really um, pretty so I want to really kind of fancy them up a bit. So I did grab these curtain It says a set of decorative curtain clips curtain clips so um, I did grab two of these they were $8.99 each and I thought that was so pretty you know, if they had them in silk, they, these are silver. If they had them in gold, then I, it wouldn't even be a question in my mind if I wanted these. But because they're silver, they're making me think, I don't, I'm going to see how they look. And then I'll decide if I want to keep these or if I'll give them to my sister or something or whatever. But I love the idea of the curtain clips like that. I think that's really, really cute. So I'll see how to use them, but look at how pretty they are. They're bling out. And they're just so pretty so I, I did grab these two for that purpose but I'll share with you guys how I of course I'm going to share with you guys that curtain um, me put um, my husband putting up the new curtains for me and then I'll see if I style them with this or not so along with the curtains and the styling I did also grab two of these tie backs look at that guys Oh my goodness so these are so pretty and I don't know if the camera's even picking it up because they're like gray and taupe I don't know you guys can see it better in the rope it's like a light gray a darker gray and then like a taupe color and then kind of a champagne color and you can see the little bit of glitter on the balls here and you can see those colors also going through the this portion of it, the tassel portion of it these are so pretty so 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 pretty and I think they're going to be gorgeous with those new curtains I do I think they're just gonna be gorgeous I cannot wait now you guys know um, if you've seen any of my videos uh, in my dining room I have some tassels like this I don't generally use them as a tie back in the traditional way a lot of times I like to use them as like curtain jewelry and have them hanging at the top so if I don't use them as tie backs and I'll probably do that just have them as curtain jewelry across the top they only had two of this color and style so I did pick up the two that they had I feel like I might want one more because this curtain expanse is kind of long and so I feel like I probably would have wanted one for both sides but we'll see if if these two aren't enough then two sets rather because there's actually four of them but if these two sets aren't enough, then I'll be on the lookout for those as well. But I thought these were so, so pretty, so I did grab the two that they had. Okay, I knew I was missing something. I was like, I thought I had something else. 
So the other item was this candle, I mean, candle, this um, curtain rod. And you can see that it's more like a um, pewter color, kind of a pewter goldish black color. And then it has this crystal on the end. I thought that was so pretty. And you guys, for all my bling girls out there, I know you guys would like this. I do love bling, I do, especially like in my jewelry. <laughs> but, um, and I like bling pieces in my home, but I don't always add a whole, whole lot of bling. So I thought this would be a really pretty element considering I have, I have the sparkle and my pillows back there. And the Christmas holiday is coming, so of course there's gonna be lots of sparkle, glitz, glam, and glitter everywhere. But then once all those, the holiday seasons are over and it's just every day, I thought this would still just be a nice look for here in the living room. So I did grab this one. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it because I don't know if 84 inches is gonna be long enough for this window space in here. So, but while I was out, I just thought I'd grab it and if it's not, I'll return it. But it was only $15.99 for this curtain rod and like I said, you can see the bling on it. It's so pretty. And once my curtains get here and you guys see them, I think it's gonna look amazing. And then I'm gonna be so, so happy. And then I'll be sad if this is not long enough. <laughs> so yeah, that is the last item now in this haul. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. All of the Christmas decor, I'm excited to um, very soon here get started decorating for Christmas. Uh, and sharing you guys a lots of ideas and inspiration on what you need to do to decorate your home on a budget for the holiday season. If you're new here, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much for hanging in here with me till the end. If this is your first time here and you've watched all the way to the end, make sure you leave me a comment down below to let me know so that I can say thank you very much, guys. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about all of the items. And uh, if you had any favorite items, let me know that as well. And guys, I, I, I keep thinking that I'm not gonna do a whole, whole lot of Christmas decor hauls because, I'm, because I feel like I'm so behind the curve. Like I just wanna start getting trees up and decorated because we're less than 50 days away from Christmas now. Can you believe that? Less than 50 days away. When you say it like that, it seems like, oh my God, my tree should have been up last month. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Um, so I'm just getting a little bit anxious and ready to just get the trees up. And so um, I'm probably not gonna be doing a whole bunch of more decor hauls other than I do need to get some ornaments for the new color scheme upstairs with the teal and gold. But outside of that, I'm probably gonna just be using a lot of what I already have um, and making it look gorgeous in my space again this year. So you might make sure that you follow me along and um, yeah, we'll get it all done together. So for my faithful family members, you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.